what's going on guys this is Woods and today I'm gonna bring you a video about how to create a thumbnail for your YouTube video with uh, Vega Sony Vega Movie Studio Platinum 14 um, it's a pretty easy thing to do but I know some people might just have the program and then don't know how to do it so I figured I'd do a little tutorial and uh, show them how to do it so the first thing you're gonna do you're gonna navigate to your movie studio software all right it's opening so I'll make sure it goes as fast as possible yeah all right so uh, if you if you come to this screen you want a new one so um, at this time you can give it a name I am gonna call it like, thumbnail testing let's say tutorial for the sake of the video all right so you get this right now, now the next thing you're gonna want to do it's either you already have a PNG file where you can use as a, a thumbnail or you take it from the video that you're gonna you're gonna produce like for instance I'm let's say I'm gonna add a video um, let's go here to my file where I can find my videos on the desktop this is thum thumbnails that I just did let's go to my video recording YouTube projects and then I'm gonna go to OBS captures and then let's say I pick this video right here so my video is here I'm gonna drop it to the timeline alright uh, we don't need audio so I can delete the audio alright so now on the timeline and say you finish doing your video I man you can do it uh, when you can do it while you while you in the same time that you start to, before you start to uh, doing your video or you can do it after you do your video normally I do it after I do my video I just go for find a clip and then uh, and then uh, use it as it so you can uh, go through your clip and find a, a, a good shot that you want to pre uh, to, to provide for the video say for instance I like this shot right here not the best shot but just for the purpose of the video we're gonna go and take this basically I can you know put it on pause and then so it was playing put it on pause and let it go to see what this shot I want or I can stop it and then go into the timeline and then start you know scrolling and see which shot that I want okay so once I find the shot that I want, let's say for instance I like this one, I go here. So it's already on the screen. So what I do, you go right here, and then you click on this uh, save button. It says save snapshot to file, and then you save it, and then you can put it on the desk. Let's say I'm gonna put it on the desktop for instance. All right, so I'm gonna call it thumbnail test again, and I'm gonna put it on the desktop. It's already on the desktop, and then so. I'm gonna hit save. Okay, so now I'm I'm all, I already save it. So now I don't need this uh this 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 uh video anymore. So what I can do I can just close it. And as you can see, as soon as you save it, it goes also in the in the preview where you add your media in uh, Movie Studio 14 Platinum. All right, so uh, since I don't want this, so I'm gonna just gonna go and let's say close it. So I do. It's gonna ask you if you want to save it. I don't want to save it, so I'm gonna say no. You know. So now you start brand new. So now you're gonna bring your file, right? So you're gonna add the media again. So you're gonna go to, on your desktop, and then you're gonna find the video you just you just saved. It was thumbnail test, right? And then it's right here. So then I go and drop it into the timeline. Okay, so I drop it right here on the video um, line. So now I got it right here. Now you can see it's showing on the preview window. All right, so now what you're going to do, you're just going to add your text to it. Now you can add as many layer, layers of text that you want to. So normally I go with one layer because, you know, it makes it simple and fast. And then so you go right click and then you say insert text media all right you pick that option and then this window would pop up and then you see simple text you highlight simple text and then you start typing the text that you want so like let's go let's go call this uh thumbnail test 
for YouTube. Uh, I can't type. All right. So now from you highlight it again. Now you can change the font. You know whichever one you like. I like this one. It makes it a little smaller. You know, in case you want space and everything. And I can, if I want, I can um, bold it and everything. So that's that. And then while you're looking at it on the preview you can move it around so say I want to put this on top or you can play around with it let's say I want to wrap it around I can do that too so if say I don't want it to go in one line I can do two lines so now it becomes two lines so I can resize the windows you know what I mean and the box I can, I can resize the box and how I want to and everything make it smaller and make it bigger or whatever and I can move it to the side find that the best position to put it you know what I mean? you know what I mean so let's say I want to put it right here all right let's go on top so that's right there so we're not done yet so it's well it's uh, highlighted so now you can change the color of the text so you go to this box right here and change the color this is blue I don't really go with the yellow because it's it's more common and then you know I like it all right so if I go with the yellows I said okay and I let me click outside the box somewhere oh no not there that's okay so it's yellow you don't want any animation so now you, we're gonna add uh, an outline to it just like a kind of like a, a border and then uh, so we go scroll down and then you click the color of the, bo of the border so I normally go all the way black because I think they say YouTube like likes it when you put the black border around the text. So that's what we're gonna do. And then you click OK, not this. All right, and then you go back to where it says outlined width. You go on that on the width, and then you go put it all the way down. So what that does, it just kind of add the kind of a black shade to it you may not be able to see it but once you do it yourself you'll see it but if you scale it you'll be able to see it even more so if I scale it I'll see it a little bit more but you'll see it especially if it's on a different background you'll see it easier but you'll you'll see it it's, it, it creates a, a border around the, the, the letters basically all right so then once you're done you find a position that you like and everything and then now you can say it's okay it's good for you whatever if it makes you happy then you you're done with that part so you close this window and then now this is what it is and you go back again and then you hit save snapshot to file so you save it again and then you're gonna look this time we're gonna call it uh, thumbnail test 2 all right and then we're gonna put it on the desktop again okay all right so now it's safe and then another copy is uh is gonna show right here in the way you add media okay so now you're done with that part you know you just make it right just you don't even have to worry about all this stuff you know just lining up and everything and then uh so you're done with that but not you're done with that part so now you can close it so let's go and close the project and close it's going to ask you to save it you're going to say yes or no you can save it just if, in case you want to come back and do some changes but me normally i don't because once I, I once i've done it i'm like okay that's it i'm good you know what i mean but you can save it just in case you want to come back to it all right so i i don't want it so i'll say no and then uh and then that's it all right so now the next step is for you to go on YouTube where you're gonna upload your video and then that's where you're gonna when they give you the option to uh, add the thumbnail and then that's where you're gonna add it okay that's it for uh, the next step you're gonna navigate to your YouTube channel and then uh, you just get to the screen and then you're gonna click upload and then you're gonna find your video your video And then my video. It's this one. And I upload it. Do the thing that I normally do description.
this and then all kind of stuff right and then YouTube would give you some options as to for your, your thumbnail but you're gonna you're gonna go get your custom one that you made and then you remember the one then you click on custom thumbnail you remember you put it on the desktop so we're gonna look for the one that says test uh, thumbnail test 2 you click on it open it and then it's gonna show up so this is it this is the one so it's 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 showing right there and then as soon as you're done and you hit the uh, publish button and then that's it now you uh, it's gonna be your thumbnail is gonna be there's a video is gonna be like this and then the thumbnail is gonna look like this that's the thumbnail is gonna be on the video so I don't have to hit publish because it was just a test so all right well I th that's the end of the video I hope if you guys find this uh, information useful and then uh, if you did find it useful just please leave a like comment and subscribe for some more video if you need help with anything that you would like to know in reference to destiny or some other thing with the uh, movie studio uh, platinum I know a little bit so I can help out if I can I can uh, direct you to the right person alright take it easy and uh, have a great day